being here today. Uh, why don't you start by uh, telling us who you are and what you do uh, over at Charisma Media? So I'm John Matarazzo. I'm a digital uh, content specialist, and I oversee and lead the Charisma Podcast Network. And uh, it's a network of about maybe about 100 different podcasters. Um, we've got no one's coming all the time and we've got people that are, uh, you know, learning and growing uh, their podcasts. And it's, it's been a, a great journey for me because I love helping people grow their podcasts and just be better personalities on the microphone and how to tell better stories. And so it has been a great experience for me to be a part of this great network. That's awesome. And so you say a uh, hundred podcasters, uh, more or less. How many, about how many shows do you have? Um, so that's about a hundred shows. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We have Great. Uh, we have some that are that are hosted by us, and that's partnered with RSS.com, which we're going to be talking about. And I'm very excited about our partnership there. And then we've got a few that have they they have their own podcasts uh, hosted in other places, and then we partner with them, and we're uh, you know basically sharing their podcast along with articles on our websites and uh, getting people promotion that way. And so we've got a great, uh, we've got a great partnership with a, a, a plugin that uh, looks at our articles, looks at our podcasts and matches them up and puts, you know, options for people to listen to podcasts that go with those articles. And so uh, whether it's directly related or it's uh, conceptually related, it's a really cool way for, listeners or for, for people on the website that are just going and reading articles to get connected to new podcasts. And that's what one of the things that we're super excited about with the network is getting people that are already listening to that or looking for that type of content to now find it in the podcasting world. As well. What would you say was your biggest pain point before you moved? So one of the biggest things that I had to deal with on a regular basis was really technical support. Um, we were using a hosting service originally that was really complicated for the average person. Um, it's kind of like, I, I, I don't mean to be rude, but it was kind of like MS-DOS versus, uh, you know, Windows uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, even Mac. Yeah. And so you, you had a graphical user interface and you had a text based thing and it kind of felt that way. It felt very clunky. And so I spent a lot of my time managing the network, but really doing technical support for a lot of times. It was things where it was a field that wasn't filled out properly. Mm -hmm. And there was a required field on this page that they didn't they weren't aware of. And then all of a sudden, their podcast episode wasn't reaching everybody that it was supposed to. It wasn't showing up on their players. And we're getting a call saying, what's wrong? Why can't my podcast get out there? I did everything right. And then I'd have to go into their account and look for everything and see, oh, here's this required field that you didn't fill out. And I've been podcasting since being on the on the on with the Charisma Podcast Network. And I know that there has to be an easier solution because you don't need to have all of these fields confusing people. Uh, it really is as simple as your title, your description, and make sure that there's an audio file to go with it. And um, I decided that we really needed to make something that was user friendly because I, if we're going to make something grow and be more effective as a network, we need to make sure that everybody, all the 100 podcasters that are on the network, are able to look at their own stats whenever they want and understand them, to be able to upload and to be able to get the customer support easily. And so I was looking for a new host and so mm -hmm. that we could uh, really be more accessible for our podcasters and so that we could help on the content level and the the things where it's really fun to be able to help a podcaster to help them kind of get through that next level when you're not having to worry about the did I check this box or did I check or did I fill in this thing correctly or is my podcast getting out to where it's supposed to be and we found rss.com through searching and and actually going to a podcast uh, uh, a podfest and just talking to different people and then I still wasn't satisfied because not everybody wants to deal with a network. But right. whenever I connected with Ben and Alberto uh, with RSS.com, uh, they responded quickly. And they're, they're the founders of RSS.com. They responded and said, 
we're not there right now, but we want to work with you and we're going to make this happen. And so we scheduled a call and uh, got on and was able to meet face to face with them uh, remotely and just got to see all the benefits that RSS.com had to offer. And they said, we're going to work with you. We're going to change the things that we're doing right now so that we can be prepared to meet you uh, in September or October. So this was a, you know, probably four or five months. They were right. like, let's, let's work on this and make this happen. And during this entire process where we said, yes, that we're going to do this. And it, it was just great because every, every so often I was getting regular updates. It wasn't me having to go after them. Uh, it was, mm. I knew that I was going to get regular updates with them. And then once we, once we made it public and told everybody, once we tested with our own podcast, our own internal podcast first, and we saw, wow, these statistics are really cool. How you can zoom in to a particular red dot on the map. It's a, it's a map. It's not just a, uh, a list of where your podcast right. is, uh, is listened to when you have to go then and, you know, Google where is, uh, you know, where is this particular town somewhere and figure that out. No, they actually plotted it on a map and the redder the dot, the more downloads there. And so as you zoom in, you can actually see down to the neighborhood, uh, actually maybe a little bit even further now, cause they seem to be getting, getting, be getting more and more detailed. And then also the, the ability to see when people are listening to your podcast, that's a very unique feature. And so, mm -hmm. uh, it went from looking at statistics as here's a spreadsheet to now here's something that I want to be able to look at and say, I'm making an impact in this particular area. So if I want to do targeted ads for this particular area, or if I want this, if this podcaster is planning on doing a tour, maybe they can go to these different cities. And also just knowing that at five o'clock on Mondays, my podcast is most listened to, even though I upload at Saturdays at 7 p.m. Make sure that you get your podcast out by before Monday at five when most yeah. people are listening to it. You know, those types of information is very, I guess it's proprietary and, you know, nobody else is doing that or if they could do it, they don't want to do it. And I'm so glad that uh, that Alberto and the team with RSS.com has said, we want to make these types of uh, analytics available for people. And I know from talking with them and getting to know them that they are not settling on what they've, they have done. And they just went through a big update and so now we're starting to see things happen even more and they're excited about the uh, about the features to come, which is really cool. And that's available for everybody. But as a network, I'm really excited in the, in the fact that I have seen people that have been frustrated with uploading podcasts and doing their own podcast management uh, and trying to be more hands on and trying to do do what they can. Absolutely loving the automatic transcripts. Absolutely. Yeah. Loving the fact that you can, uh, if you have a transcript, you can go to that particular episode's page and you can find a spot that you want to then share that particular ep part of the episode with your friends so that your friend doesn't have to worry about, uh, I got to fast forward to minute 18, second 37 to find what this person was actually talking about. You can go to that particular spot and it is just great. And it's a wonderful way to share with people because you're not wasting time of, well, I got to I got to figure out where this is. And so it's really helpful uh, for for that sharing. And then all the transcripts, making it easier for for uh, SEO uh, to be, you know, the podcast to be found and connected. And so people that are doing the transcripts that are doing all the things that we've been saying, RSS is offering these these features. You got to do it as well as the other things that we've been teaching as a network. People are seeing more organic growth. Even though we are putting their articles or their podcast in uh, in with articles, they've been seeing more organic growth as a result of the just the structure that RSS.com has. I love that. And so there's a couple of things I really want to uh, dig in here with our last few minutes. Um, the technical aspect, right? I mean, uh, so I was a web developer in a former life for 20 years before moving fully into podcasting. And I know how hard it could be to spend time working kind of in the technology instead of creating the content, right? It's one of the reasons that 
um, I wanted to get more away from web development because I kind of knew like, oh, well, this thing, I can just fix it with code real quick. But that would take time away from me creating content, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, I think it's great that you, you found a really good partner that helps you focus on the content. I know we're very passionate here at rss.com with, uh, with our technology. Um, and then the analytics. I love, I love how much you talked about the analytics because we both know how hard and how kind of disjointed um, podcast analytics can be. And so getting, getting really good stuff right from your host uh, who will have um, the best non-platform specific mm -hmm. stats, right? Like, sure, Apple can tell you like how long someone listened, but your host uh, will be able to tell you all sorts of data because right. they're, they're getting that information from the files that they're serving up. So I, I just love that you mentioned uh, both of those things. Um, so as we wrap up here, is there, is there anything else you want to uh, mention or anything that really um, set RSS.com apart from uh, everybody else? You I assume you evaluated a lot moving a hundred podcasts is, it, no. was a, it was a big feat. It took a lot yeah. of uh, it took a lot of support and help with that process, and even just transferring. Um, I, I my my team here, uh, we figured out a strategy and we got together spreadsheets and basically we're able to work with in in, in tandem with the engineers at rss.com to be able to make sure that every episode got transferred the way that it was supposed to. And if there was any issues that everything was able to be cleaned up and, uh, there was, it was for the number of podcasts that were transferred, it was really seamless and people didn't realize what was going on. It took people a little bit of time to just to understand that you have to log into a new place. Mm -hmm. You have to, you know, make it, make a new account there. Um, and just basically, you know, the, the simple things that people, you know, you don't think about that until you actually have to like create a new login. But yeah, once people were in, they were like, I love this. This is really helpful. Um, and once they've gotten used to it, it's just been, it's just been a blessing really. And I know that, uh, the connections that I've had with the, with, uh, Michael, the customer experience, yeah. uh, the head of customer experience, uh, we have a regular talk as a as a network person, and I do regular uh, teaching sessions with our podcasters. Um, it's great to be able to hear from RSS.com what is going on with RSS.com, what are updates that we can be looking up for, but also helping me know what is really going on in the world of podcasting because I get so many podcast newsletters and so many things, you know, flashing lights in different places. And you got to get this, you got to get this. RSS.com has been able to really help me sort through the noise of podcasting to focus on the content that's really important. Wow. Uh, that is, a, I mean, shout out to Michael Bickett, our uh, head of uh, customer experience. So um, for creating a great customer experience for John and everybody at Charisma Media. John, thanks so much for spending some time with us today. Uh, I really appreciate it. Absolutely. It's my pleasure, and I'm so glad to be with RSS.com.